sister's coronation? Mum. Oh, my sister's coronation. <laughs> coronation Day? It's, oh, it's Coronation Day! <gasps> the window is open, so's that door. I didn't know they did that anymore. Who knew we owned a thousand salad plates? For years I've roamed these empty halls. Why have a ballroom with no balls? Down with Frozen, so I think they had a pretty good cast today. Yeah, I think so. I mean, also I have oh, there's Goofy. Uh, is he gonna? See? <laughs> yeah, he's gonna go see Frozen too. Anyway, yeah. Elsa, I have to give her an A minus B plus. There's still a few issues with sound. Yeah. Going people, not as bad as the excuse me, not as bad as the Pyre Frozen, but uh, a couple places where I thought she seemed kind of flat. Yeah. I thought it was good overall. What wasn't good is uh, a lot of All babies the crying. Blind kids. Like, Riddle me this, Neons. Yes. Why are kids under the age of, say, four or five brought inside? Because if they're four or five, they probably weren't around when Frozen was originally released in the theater. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter. You can see it in, on Blu-ray DVD. But <laughs> the, the point is, first of all, I don't even know if kids that young really enjoy Disneyland that much. I don't remember much, but that's a whole separate issue. Yeah. When you have an hour-long show, they're going to get fussy. You need I... to, like... The first movie I remember watching was Land Before Time, and that's another separate. That's a separate post of its own and made me cry. So I think it was about four. So anything before that, I don't think I sat. Through. But I remember Land Before Time vividly. Did you watch in the theater? Or no, my dad bought it home. Yeah. But see, the point being, yeah. you know, four I kind of remember like it, it, it moved me. But anything before that, I'm sorry. So. Yeah, and kids just naturally they get bored after a while, right? And that's an hour long. You're tightly packed. So anything that they're doing, like I had the kid right next to me. It was on his dad's lap. He kept kicking me in the knee. And and just I remember his. Crying. I think dad finally had a hall hall yeah. hit away, and I was just like, oh my god. And then Lord, when you get out, like anybody? he was in the center with me, so he has to go past all the people next to him, disrupting them, all the kids around them, not just me, were disrupted I've by it. At least the three, first. I've lost track. I just stopped counting after a while. Maybe I should start keeping a tally. Anyhow, enough about that. So, off to take in some more sights and sounds at Pixar Fest. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll do that, and then probably uh, look at maybe going on Mater's? Possibly. Okay. Today we have two special guests. Two special guests? Yes. Who's on first? A young lady with golden locks. Oh, Goldilocks and a three dancing bears! Uh, no, we don't have three dancing bears. Only two? No. Just one. No, there are no dancing bears. Oh, Lords and Ladies presenting Goldilocks and no dancing bears! Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, think? they could be the dancing bears. We got a papa and a mama and a baby, right? Baby, baby. Baby. No, there are no dancing bears and no goldies. Oh, you said a young lady with golden locks. Oh, yes, Rapunzel. Rapunzel doesn't have any dancing bears. No, she's our first guest. The first guest? Yes. Who's on second? That is the question. I can hardly wait. Lords and ladies, it's time to give a warm welcome to our first royal guest, the man, the only, the one and only, Rapunzel. Rapunzel, we're honored to be your presence here today. And we are most delighted that you accepted our invitation to join us in a live performance of your story. Oh, it's my pleasure. After all, who better to tell the story of Rapunzel than Rapunzel? This is going to be such an adventure. Welcome to Pizza Planet. Uh, 
that's really the uh, robot guard in the way. And we got Julie and I are at Pizza Planet. I got uh, some cheese za. Julie got, what did you got, Julie? It's the uh, miso uh, pesto pasta with the peas and bacon. Both things you Why don't you take a bite and we'll let you know. And also, as a treat for the end. Okay. I'm not the cheap peas in the fourth, two peas, but nothing special. Peas in the bacon are very strong. It's different. I think you should look all pesto, but it's a unique taste. Okay. It's got like bacon and peas and. Yeah, very fresh. He's very fresh. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's see. Now go ahead. Probably head back to DCA. Uh, Julie's just finishing up her um, pasta. And I wanted to mention something before that I forgot. Even though this is supposedly just a temporary overlay, I like that it has a pizza pie in a box and of course all the uh, decorations and stuff. There's like a little mural on the uh, outside over there. And cool. Time for a macaroon pretty soon. Anyway, these are pretty good. I think it's supposed to be some sort of blackberry mix. It's more like grape to me because it has some sort of currant in it. Uh, but yeah, not bad. A little pricey. Was it like five bucks? Five ninety nine. Yeah, five ninety nine. So, you know, that's the price of food at the end. So, it's a pretty good size. You know, it's got two, uh, two stuck together with a layer in there. Let's see, a lot of the scaffoldings now, you can see right there, still some on the sides, but I think they have at least two trains running here, possibly three. Yeah, a lot of those walls are down too, looks like you still need to paint some there. The names and such. That area is going to do some work for bing bongs. Yeah, still, I don't know how, that, how I feel about that blue mixing with that red. I feel like the red is too dominant over the blue. It is good to see coasters going across there again. I was definitely missing it. Anyway, let's go see if we can see a launch or anything else over here. premium seating because before like the center part near the front of that was like for like making way and VIPs but I don't know what the other section was for. So sad. Oh, we could have gone somewhere else but I when I used to record I, don't, I try not to be in front of people if I can I try to be in the back. Eh. I like Panther Night a lot too. I would probably, probably like it more than those fireworks. I do. I really like Panther Night. It's more fun. More dancing. And I did a time look again. 
and the slowest bumper cars ever. <laughs> you know. They are. They're very slow. Maybe we'll go on Heimlich again, but it's kind of dark. Uh, anyway, it'll be sad when it goes. I'm, I'm not going to really record, record the front. I'm just going to set the camera down, let it go, and hope you enjoy that perspective. <laughs> oh, I was going to say that. <laughs> Thunder from Disneyland. This will probably be the last time I enter Bugs Land. Don't know if they'll ever do a Bugs Land again. But <laughs> yeah, it's an older property. If this doesn't make it, then where would it make sense? I guess Animal Kingdom, it could have made sense. And they have the Bugs Theater there and the big tree that you see. But yeah, we're almost done here. I know it's kind of dark. This camera doesn't do great in the dark, but just wanted to share some thoughts as we come in. Even though it's not, it was never my favorite land. I think it worked well for one that's not California centric. You can kind of think of bugs as helping agriculture, which California is really big for. And they did it pretty well. Reminds me of that area I actually never got to go to in Hollywood Kingdom where they, uh, Hollywood Kingdom, <laughs> Hollywood Studios or Disney MGM Studios or whatever it was at the time. We had Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. They had like giant ants and flowers and stuff. And you could like slide down stuff. Yeah, very similar. Yeah, I think we'll do a uh, Heimlich and then uh, we'll be done. Saying goodbye to Bugs Land. Goodbye, Bugs Land. well, signed off. To the Hey, help me to go find something to eat. Come on, everybody, here we go. I see a big carrot. Dry carrot. Mama says I have to eat all my vegetables if I want to have dessert. Oh, you smell 
was I smell? That's watermelon. Mm. Mm. Oh, taste that old smell, that delicious watermelon. Ha ha! There's a fork in the road. Which way to go? Oh, it smells so yummy in here. Oh! Oh! See you in the dark. Hi, I love Heimlich. Definitely the best ride in Bugs Land. No, the Flix, Flix Flyers is pretty cool too. I like the smell. Oh yeah. Lots of melon. Candy corn. You know what's interesting? Cause I never came back. Uh, to, I never came to DCA when it had first opened, and it was that kind of yeah. I'm trying to remember because I actually was here way back when. So for like 2002, 2003 when it first opened, and I'm drawing a big old blank wall was here. Well, I, much. well, no, I, I think they added this part in order to like give more kid-friendly options because yeah. like the kids yeah. would come here and like, well, it's not like Disneyland. There's nothing for us to ride. No, didn't they have like bad dogs and like farm equipment you could look at? I thought I saw that online. I, I don't even Yeah, know. I think where like Mater's is right now, they used to have some some sort of farm yeah. kind of stand there. I remember seeing some stuff like when I came kind of in the in the intermediate between like DCA 1.0 and 2.0. I remember, I remember coming before they had Buena Vista Street. They had like a kind of a train car that was an ice cream shop, I think, like Burbank. Yeah, it was called Burbank Deli. I remember that. I thought that was funny. Yeah, and, I thought that was yeah. cute. And, like the, and the Grizzly uh, Peak area looked different, like the airfield. Looked, I think I had light up uh, like landing strip and everything. Yeah. And yeah, but I, I do like Buena Vista Street and instead of just a Golden Gate Bridge here. It looked really tacky. So some of the changes have been really good. I don't think Marvel Land should be here, but I really enjoy it. And at least Bugs Land kind of fit. Yes. Yeah, I was on that before Paint the Night. Sliding around by myself. Anyway, I guess we're going to go to Disneyland now. But first, a drink. Stay hydrated. Yep. Tip number one.